two words, Iceland, baby. That's right, we're back in Iceland. But I'm bummed. My dudes, Tim Harrison and Tate, aren't on this one. But we are meeting up with Ben Fremsky of The Fly Fishing Show and famous fly fisherman and author Jason Randall and his wife. And this time it's for Atlantic Salmon. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a great episode. Right, guys we're here in iceland oh man with joe and jason randall and we're excited it's gonna be a great week oh, here in iceland wait. and uh, this is part of your anniversary trip i understand it is uh, about uh, three four months ago i surprised joe and gave her this trip as a 40th wedding anniversary and we spent a week in spain learning boss cooking oh wow and she said what a trip with no fly fishing. Uh oh! Little did she know. <laughs> yes. So here we are fishing okay. in Iceland on the way home from Spain. That's kind of on the way. A side home. trip. Side trip. And you never caught an Atlantic before. This is going to be fun, right? Good this trip. Is gonna yep. be a, this is a great opportunity to do that. And Joe, you're a big photographer. I love photography. What is your? Why are you passionate about photography? Uh, nature, outdoors. I just love okay. all outdoors photography. Why don't we run some of your pictures that you're going to take this week? Okay. I think the water is a little bit high for the canyon right now. We're gonna try one more canyon pool. Maybe, maybe we'll get one out of there. But if not, we'll go and fish the plains. Upper beach. Yeah, upper beach. We got a few days though, so we're, yeah, we're there's no, no rush. No, no rush. stress. I, I, although I, I had a goal for ten salmon today, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's so. the first day. We're gonna get after it. We'll no get them. No worries. No worries. All we right. have all, all day. All week. All week. <laughs> Ben here and we're on day two it's actually our first full day uh, so it should be a fun day Ben what do you think about the uh, Miraclist? Oh I love it I like fishing canyons so canyons awesome yeah canyon last night we're fishing day. off our part today and it looks beautiful should be a fun day guys we'll keep you posted on what's going on here Right on the ledge. Right on the ledge, more to the left, even further. You gotta bank it. You got it, you got it. Take it easy now. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> oh, he's a good fish, buddy. Oh, he's going up river. 
Oh, he's got a little fight on your hands, buddy. Got a little fight. That's a good fish, bud. Sometimes they, sometimes they dive into the weeds. It's not ideal. Not an ideal situation. All right, so we got a little problem here. The fish went right into the weeds. And now we're not sure if he's off or if he's on and just in the weeds. Okay. Oh, oh, he's still on. He's still on. Ah. He's still on. Ah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's free. He's free. Nice. Oh, we're running. Yes! <laughs> Beautiful, buddy. What are you gonna do, Ben? What are you gonna do? So Ben's so Ben's hooked an Atlantic salmon from high in the ridge, and now he's gonna figure out how to land it. So he's walking around. He's gonna have to come down the cliff, and uh, we're gonna see if we can land this salmon. This is crazy. This is nuts. Look at this guy. Look at him. Now you're just showing off. <laughs> you say fish is boring, you have a fish with mad guy. Alright, so give me a play by play there. What happened? I cast in and I hooked the fish. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty much that easy. <laughs> no, actually there was a, I thought I saw a fish on the sandbar up there and I drifted it down. And as I lifted it up, it came out from under the uh, under the cliff and grabbed it. We were talking about that. Look, it's five feet under that cliff. Maddie, what do you think the chance of landing this fish are? Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. We got the fucking green team here. <laughs> he gives you good chances there, big fella. Right, that was a lot of vote of confidence right there. Now he's staring up the pool for sure. Ooh. Oh, no, not happy. Oh, he's a biggie! He's a biggie! Woo Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, like a knucklehead, I just pulled my fly out of a nice Atlantic salmon's mouth. And at the same exact time, Ben hooked one from the ledge again. So we would have had a double, but now Ben's hooked up and he's got a billy goat and he's off. Oh, we just busted. That would have been cool. We would have had a double. Double trouble. So we know one thing, this guy is doing an awesome job putting us on fish.
Yeah, so pool 15 is a good one. It's a holding pool. Uh, the salmon tend to lie in the channels there. It's nice, nice swing through it. We can, we can start with a hitch fly. Let's go. Get that one that jumped. You saw one? Yeah. What, yeah. what happened? Well, when we, when we were coming down the crack, one jumped right down there. Quite close to the bag, so we gotta be really careful. Alright, good morning guys. Welcome to day two. This is our second full day of fishing. And uh, we're here. We're gonna start right here in this pool right here. And Ben's up top. He's working. You can kind of see him. He's getting very minky. Yeah. He's a mink. He is a mink. That Furminator. Yeah. You can just see by his body language when he approaches the pool, he's like, oh, he's on the hunt. He's a hunter. He even growls like, mm. <laughs> Now, why do you call Furminator the mink? Well, you know, mink, you know, mink is a hunter. Mink is a killer. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him up there. Look at the mink. Yeah. He's up there fishing from his Side. Yeah, he looks like he's taking a nap and fishing at the same time. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. Yeah. So tell us about this pool here, Maddie. Yeah, this is a um, pool 33, and it's where you're gonna land your first Atlantic set. Let's go get it. Let's do it. All right, Ben's in, and we're running. We're running. We're running. We're running. Any size? Okay. Is the cockfish? This is the third one I caught. Really? Yeah, I caught. A six weight nymph rod for salmon, baby. Oh, yeah, he's not bad. Nice. Beauty guy. That kite. Well, it's almost like a tight line nymphing, sinking it down, and once it's in the zone, now I'm fishing. Ooh. Strike? Uh, maybe. I didn't feel anything, but there's a little twitch there. Might have just bumped. Here we go. We're going to catch a nice, there's two of them right here. He's calling his shot. He's Babe Ruth over here. Yeah, here we go. Here's the, here's the hundred dollars now. Hundred bucks? So if we do oh, the- he followed it. Look at that. Oh, I pulled it away from its face. Oh, we called his shot. <laughs> and he goes, and there he goes. We're gone. We're gone. Oh, no. Tangled around my leg. <laughs> oh, bummer, dude. I stepped in the loop. Does that still count for my hundred bucks? Called the fish. You still called it. So that's the Furminator being Babe Ruth calling his shot. Did you see that fish like fly by me? Yeah, that was a nice one. That was awesome, dude. There that, was two nice ones there. That was a nice fish. Yeah. That was probably 80 centimeters. It's crazy when you you fish this and you think there's nothing there and then all of a sudden you can like see four, yeah. and there's, they're there and you didn't even know it. That was Let's fun. Let's go get another one. See if that other one's there. Or get one. Yeah. What do you have on? Hitch. Hitch. Riffle hitch? <laughs> there you go, making my podcast and my vlog not G-rated again. Sorry about that, you know. That's fantastic. That was the cast that you wanted me to have. Yeah. <laughs> you were getting a little frustrated there. I saw it. But that's when it happens. So guys, my first Atlantic salmon. Just want to thank 
both Maddie for putting me on this fish and for Ben for harassing me for days. Harassing me <laughs> for days and for getting me on this trip and just we lost the, the battery on the on the fight. But my first Atlantic salmon and I just couldn't be happy with incredible fish. <laughs> Here we can see the mink in his natural environment. He sneaks up on his prey. He is ready to kill. He is ready to hunt. See how the minks Mink drops the fly right in the river. He strips it down. It's unusual to see the mink do a cast without catching a fish. <laughs> Dude, so nice. So nice to get a fish out of here. Nobody's pulled a fish out of this pool. The whole summer, the, nobody's landed one. The whole summer. The mink. The mink did it. And on the fly, he tied. <laughs> He's getting under that bank. I wouldn't worry too much about spooking the pool, you know. Maybe you just want to stand up and come where you have a little more. He's going down. Yeah. Slowly lead him over. We were just about to have a commentary on the mink kneeling up to the pool on the prowl. I was getting ready for my English accent, Edinburgh style. And you hooked up. Boom. Look at this beautiful pool. Number 33? 34. 34. We tied this fly at lunch yesterday. Um, it's kind of a variation of your bullet. Yeah. And Very heavy. Yeah, real heavy, pretty sparse. Why do we, why do we like it heavy? Because it jigs. It does like this, and it goes deep down enough. So if they don't want to come up for it, yeah, you get right in their face. And it gets down into the pockets really quick. Yes, it sinks like this. And you start fishing it as soon as it lands. Yeah. So when you have a hole, it's small and deep. We're able to get into the strike zone quicker. We're coming back from our hole. And guess who's on a fish again? <laughs> What'd he take? The little green guy. Oh, nice. We're running. We're running. There goes Maddie. Cute. <laughs> Look at the teeth on that thing. I was just gonna say. Yeah. yeah. Nice, buddy. Yeah. Killing it. That's oh. number three for the day. Four. Three. Three. And lost one. Lost one. Okay. I think you the one I lost, I'm pretty sure was Icelandic record. Hey. You tell me you never lose fish. Tight line, technique, But the challenge is this swirl. So most of the cast will fly so I'm getting the strike zone. You get lucky when the swirls in the right spot for the strike. I'm not sure if you guys could hear Ben there, but the key is using some extra weight because this is a super deep undercut pool. And uh, it's really hard to fish it from this side because the way the pool is swirling around and just trying to place the fly in front of the fish. So Ben's not, right yeah, it's a lot of getting sucked into the different spots. So Ben went to the other side, put a little extra weight down and is actually nymphing below this undercut bank. And below this undercut bank is absolutely loaded with nice Atlantic salmon. So he's caught two in the last, three or four minutes, so. Almost again there, so. 
the mink will stay in his hole until it's time to hunt. Here you see the mink come out of his lair. He's not ready for the hunt yet, but he will be soon. There the mink goes, down to the river. He's ready to catch them. Matty! Yeah? What's the name of this pool? Luvra Potler. Luvra Potler. This was the first pool we restored. Oh. Three days later we caught the first salmon. You restored it? Cool. Yeah. What did, tell me what you did. We dug out, we took a backhoe and dug this hole out here and built the bridge down there. With the backhoe, huh? Yeah, with the backhoe, so it'll hold water. Laxo and Aldal, Miraquist is a tributary of this big river. The river falls into the ocean down here. They come in and they stop by this waterfall here. All our salmon, because the Miraquist runs in on this side, they jump this waterfall here. They have to jump that big waterfall to get up here. What's happening here, Maddie? So, uh, Ben is fishing the honey hole on the Laxau, and I just saw a fish come up for his hitch. But never took it. Just came up and checked it out, and then went down again. All right, so here we are on day four. It's our morning session. We have a half day today. So this will be a four-day fish here in Iceland. We're up to 16 fish landed. And you more that we've lost. Most of those mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right on that. <laughs> so we, our goal was 20 fish for the week. We have a morning session to complete that. So, yeah. Maddie, what is the plan? We're gonna let the mink loose here. <laughs> uh, we have this pool that's been holding fish and uh, nobody has caught fish here the whole summer. We let the mink loose there yesterday and he hooked five and landed three of those, so. But uh, he'll just freaking hammer that pool and get our quota for today, and then we can take it easy. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's All fantastic. All right, I feel like we're gonna kiss here, so I'm gonna end. The <laughs> I'm gonna end the vlog right there. No. Ooh, remember? Remember them? One more. We should either get a weed or a salmon now. All right, we got one on here. Been working hard today. Fudge. He, it popped. Yeah, I saw it. Don't worry about it. Just get another one. We're in again. We're in again. Maddie. Same MO. I'm gonna keep him up there. Maddie, we're in again, buddy. Yep. That's how you do it. I think this is the salmon, buddy. Yep. Come up a little bit. So we can use the hole in front of us. Fight it. Black hole, son, won't you come? Just let it go. Let it, Let it go. go. Let it be. <laughs> Let it be. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's a bigger one, right? Another run. Oh, not ready. Oh, not ready. Oh boy. That's 
strong fish. Don't get me fired up. That's a big tail, buddy. That's a big tail. That's just a tail. Huge fish. That's still down. Oh, buddy. You did it. Oh, we did it. That is a big female. Nice job, buddy. Guys, look at this freaking Atlantic salmon. About 88 centimeters, Maddie said. If you guys want an incredible Atlantic salmon fishing trip in Iceland, connect with Maddie at Iceland Fishing Guide. We'll have all the information on the blog and on the Instagram. This is unbelievable. Look at this Atlantic salmon. Big, healthy, Beautiful female hen, Atlantic salmon. Unbelievable time here in Iceland. We're gonna get this girl back in the river and go celebrate with a little dinner. <laughs>